new species of flatworm. It all started in 2020 when Matt in North Carolina photographed some strange worms in a plant nursery. I specialize in the taxonomy and systematics of terrestrial flatworms, including those species that are invasive in other countries. I first became aware of our new species of Amaga when my colleague Matt Bertone forwarded me photographs of living specimen of a brown flatworm that had been found in a nursery in North Carolina in 2020. Looking at these photographs, I identified the species as being the dark form of Obama nangara, a species that originated in South America, but which had now invaded parts of Europe. Shortly afterwards, I was contacted by my colleague Jean-Lu Justine and told that the species was in fact not Obama and wasn't even Obama nangara. And what needed to be done was to examine the specimen uh, histologically, determine its anatomy and its uh, generic affiliations. On receiving the specimen, I sectioned it, examined it and described it. And it was a species of Amaga, a new species, in fact. Lee, in Townsville, uh, then did a detailed morphological analysis that revealed that it was a new species, not in the genus Obama, but rather in the genus Amaga. Uh, both of these genera are endemic to South America, and if we find species of these genera in North America, it is probably because uh, they have been introduced. We did a complete description of the species by both molecular and morphological methods, and we decided to name the species Abama Pseudobama. We also looked at records of flatworms that look like Abama Pseudobama, that is flat, brown, three to 10 centimeters in length. In the southern states of the USA, uh, particularly North Carolina, Florida, Georgia, uh, there are three species that look alike, including Amaba, uh, Pseudobama. Uh, there are also mentions in Texas and California. The problem now is that scientists, uh, to study the progression and invasion of flatworms, uh, rely a lot on citizen science. That is to say, they look at the photographs sent by citizens and identify the species. In the case of Amaga Pseudobama, it will be difficult since three species look alike. However, our molecular results uh, allow to identify Amaga Pseudobama without a shadow of a doubt. This research uh, must be placed in the context of invasive species. Often, uh, these species proliferate in the country where they were introduced, uh, while they are unknown uh, in the country of origin. Uh, this is the case of Amaga pseudobama. We think that the species comes from South America, but it has never been found there, and we do not know which country it comes from.